What's happening, YouTube? Jonathan Pariente, The Education 10 here, coming at you guys with another video. I want to ask you guys to please continue to hit me up on my channel and subscribe for more YouTube videos. And as you can see, I'm going to show you right now, I am wearing my New York Rangers hockey jersey because this video today, taking a little break from basketball from the first video, I... Talked about the drafting of R.J. Barrett. Now we're going to talk about who the Rangers just drafted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you couldn't have asked for a better couple days for New York City if you tried. So yesterday, and today was the end of the NHL draft. The Knicks the other day drafted R.J. Barrett in the NBA draft. And the Rangers had the number two pick in the draft. And they took... Well, probably a player that's not only going to be a special player in this league and for maybe many years to come. The Rangers got their version now of what Timu Solani was. Timu Solani was known as the Finnish Flash. The Rangers now have gotten themselves a new generation of the Finnish Flash in Capo Kako. That's his name, guys. That's not... That's not some mispronunciation. That's his name, Kapo Kako, 18 years old from Finland. He was tearing it up in the KHL this past, just about a week ago in the playoff games over there. And I'll tell you this much. If you're a Rangers fan, you have to be so excited about the direction of where this hockey team's going. Jeff Gordon and John Davidson, who took over for... Glenn Sather is the Rangers general manager. Oh, sorry, it's the Rangers president. Uh, Jeff Gordon is, of course, the Rangers GM. You have to give these two the credit where it's due to go out and get the players that they needed. A young group, a rebuilding team from last year, and now the Rangers really struck this offseason in getting the big young talent that I think is going to carry this Rangers team to a playoff next, this coming season. Let me explain. So in addition to drafting Capo Caco, the Rangers before that made a trade with the Winnipeg Jets to land Jacob Truba. So you add Truba, you give up Pionk, you give up a 20th pick in the first round, which is okay. It's not a big, it's not a big killer. You add Truba, you have Caco. The Rangers also added their draft pick from a year ago in Vitali Kratsov. You, get, you add Igor Shesterkin, who's going to be your next goalie of the future. You add Adam Fox to your defense. You added already... You added Lemieux from earlier in the year, from also from Winnipeg. And now the Rangers are going to look to get a big name in the free agent market, possibly in Artemi Panarin. And oh my goodness gracious, you put those guys with Mika Zibanejad... You keep, this is a big deal here, the Rangers are still going to make more moves, obviously, but you keep Zabanajad with this line, you keep Jimmy Vesey, Rangers are probably going to deal Kreider, they're probably going to deal Nemesnikov, I, I see those guys getting moved, but I'll tell you something, guys, the Rangers who have been on the last few years of futility of not making the playoffs and really just weren't able to play as a team the last couple of years. They've got a team that the rest of the NHL is going to be looking out for right now. I'm telling you now what Capo Caco is going to bring to the Rangers now. He's going to bring toughness. He's going to bring skill. He's going to bring speed. He can bring some power. And he's overall just a good young kid that's going to really start a new generation of young players in the NHL. And you couldn't be more excited to be a New York fan right now for the Rangers, for the Knicks. The Islanders have already showed you what they could do. The Devils made their additions. Of course, they went number one in the draft. They got Jack Hughes with the number one pick. They also now just acquired P.K. Subban. I'm telling you guys, hockey's back in the tri-state area once again. And I'm telling you guys now, 
Look out for the Rangers. Look out for this new youth movement on this club. And they still have more additions to make in the offseason. The fans are going to be excited. They already were excited once Capo Caco was announced to join the Rangers. And, you know, the Ranger fans are not going to have fun with this kid. They're going to love, they're just going to worship this kid for the rest of his time. And who knows, maybe the Garden will start now, and, you know, as a play of making a little fun uh, poke at the name. I'm sure the Rangers will be serving specifically made Capo Chinos, courtesy of Capo Caco. And, you know, this is a marketable kid. This is what the Rangers are going to have. A marketable kid. And what he will bring to the Rangers for the next 10, 12, who knows how many years he'll be here. I hope it's a Ranger for life, if you ask me. But what the new Finn is going to bring is excitement. A transcending player, something the Rangers haven't had Really, I would say since the early 70s. Now, if I could remember very, very carefully, uh, the Rangers had a... The Rangers had a very dominant line in the, in the, 19, in the 1970s. I'm, I'm going to bring up the name in just a moment. Here it is. It was called... Uh, for Ranger fans that lived in the 70s, you heard of the gag line, right? You remember the gag line? Rod Gilbert, Gene Rattel, and Victor Hatfield formed the most dangerous trio of scorers the Rangers ever had in the early 70s, particularly the 1971-1972 season. Rangers still had Jockerman back then. If you took away what Tony Esposito did to the Rangers in that Stanley Cup, the Rangers would have easily, easily, they would have won the Cup in 71. That was back then. Are the Rangers going to have a team that could do it soon? Possibly. With Kako at the helm, I think that's going to be very possible. With Kraftsov coming up, that's going to be possible. With Shesterkin in goal soon, that's going to be very possible. If the Rangers add Panarin, oh my goodness gracious, that's... The Rangers are going to have a team to really be feared with now. Not only a team that's going to be a presence with 5-on-5, five five, but adding Truba and having Kako is going to help their power play tremendously as well. Rangers had struggled for years to find themselves a very good power play unit. And now with Truba and Kako here, and possibly if you add Panarin in there... I don't see how any hockey team in the league is going to be able to skate with the Rangers for, throughout a whole game with this young group they have. And you already have some youngsters already on the Rangers that are going to add to this future. Brett Howden has already shown you some things he could do as a defenseman. You already have Philip Heedle and what he can bring to the table. He's 19 years old. You have Elias Anderson, who was hurt most of the year. He's going to be healthy now. Oh boy, and then if you're the and then of course I didn't even who could I even forget? I forgot this even last name. Libor Hayek is also another youngster the Rangers have got. He's just 21. The young youth movement is here for the New York Rangers, and it's going to be a force to be reckoned with in 2019 and in 2020. Look out, hockey world. The blue shirts are taking back New York City. They're going to take back the Stanley Cup. The Rangers are going to dominate hockey once again. Look out, MSG. Look out, NHL. The New York Rangers are back. Jonathan Perriente, The Education 10, saying bye for now.